Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking to watch this video. Today I'm going to do a video that I probably, I don't think I've ever done on my channel, and that is a huge high-end Sephora haul. So I went into Sephora and I bought a crap ton of stuff and I'm going to be unboxing all of it today and showing you guys what I got. I've had this stuff for a couple days now and it's been killing me not to use it before I shared it with you guys first. So I'm gonna open everything that I got here and swatch it and show you guys everything that I bought. I bring Coco to work with me, you guys, and she literally just lives, her, like she just does what she wants. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. So the first thing I got are these Ole Henriksen Grease Relief um, Wash Cleansing Cloths. I just needed some new makeup wipes and I really like Ole Henriksen products, so I thought I'd try these out. So it feels like there's like one side of it is like, it has like beads on it to exfoliate your face and then the other side is just like a regular makeup wipe. So I feel like this will be really good for taking my makeup off at night. So I'm excited to try these. The next thing I got was just another uh, Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer. You guys have seen me use this in pretty much all of my videos. And I was just running low on my other one, so I just picked up another one of those. Next, I got one of these Style Icon palettes from Marc Jacobs. And I'll open this. I believe I grabbed the one that has like, um, it's like brown and gold shades. Ooh, it's a pouch in a box. This is fancy. Kind of looks like a sunglass holder. So this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It's just a lot of neutrals. I really like this gold shade and then there's a rose gold shade here and then this darker brown shade. So I feel like I can do some pretty fun looks with this palette as well. From NARS, I got two concealers. I got, um, I restocked my caramel concealer and then I also got Cafe. They came out with a new range of concealers there, so different colors, just more colors. So I wanted to try one that was closer to my skin tone, which is this one. So this is in the color Cafe. Just looks like that. So it just kind of closely matches my actual face. And then I also got Caramel, which looks like this, and this is a color to highlight with. So this is Cafe, this is my actual skin tone, and then this is Caramel, and this is what I would use to highlight with. And then from NARS, I also wanted to try the Velvet Matte Skin Tint. I've been hearing a lot of great things about this, and since I do have oily skin, I wanted something that was matte on my skin, as opposed to like, um, I have the NARS Luminous, All Day Luminous Foundation, and I really like that formula a lot, but since I'm really oily, it kind of just makes me more oily. So I wanted to try one of their matte formulas and I got the color Polynesia, which looks like this. Bye. I'm not going in any particular order, I'm literally just picking stuff out of the bag right now. So the next thing that I got is this Murad Refreshing Cleanser, and I love Murad products a lot. Um, I used to use only Murad products, but I never tried this refreshing cleanser, and I liked it because it says it thoroughly cleanses skin of surface impurities and makeup without over drying. So I am oily, but I don't like my skin, my cleansers to like dry my face out. That's how you get old and like wrinkly really fast. So you want something that's not going to dry you out. So I'm gonna try this and I'll report back, probably on Snapchat. Make sure you're following me on Snapchat so you don't miss all the fun stuff that I do every day. Next thing I've got I'm really excited about are the Naked Concealers. Oh, they're not concealers. They're not concealers. These are the Naked Lip Glosses from Urban Decay. I love, love, love this formula so much. It's my favorite lip gloss ever. And every single time I get it, I lose it, which is a damn shame because these things are like $20. But they're so pretty. So this is one of them. And they're just like the softest lip glosses you've ever felt in your whole life. This one is, this one is Love Child. And it looks like that. And this one's just called Naked. And it looks like this. So they're very, very sheer. The formula of these is just amazing. They're just the softest lip glosses I've ever tried in my whole life. I love, 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 love these. If you've never tried a naked lip gloss before, I really, really highly recommend these. What else we got? This is so fun. The next item is also skincare. This is also from Ole Henriksen. I really hope I'm saying that name right. I think I am. But this is the Aloe Vera Deep Cleanser. I got another cleanser. I don't know, I guess I just want my face to be really clean. I'm really just trying out a bunch of things right now because I feel like my skin is breaking out really badly from whatever it is that I'm using. So I wanna just try new things and 
I love Ole Henriksen. I already have um, one of their cleansers that I'm running really low on, so I thought I'd just try another one. Another skincare item, this is the First Aid Beauty Oil-Free Mattifying Gel, and you can also use this as a primer. I got this because one of the uh, sales associates at Sephora recommended it, so I thought I'd try it out. Um, it's like a gel formula, which I think is really interesting. You see that? Oh, yeah. It's like a gel formula, which I think is really nice, and it smells kind of like peppermint. So I'm really excited to try that underneath my makeup. The next item that I got is kind of pricey, but I've seen a lot of people do videos using this, and so I really, really wanted to try some of it. And the day that I went, they actually had a spokesperson from SK2 there. This is SK2, by the way. It's the Petra Essence Set. Petra Essence Set. So they actually had someone from SK2 that was there when I went um, to try this stuff out, and they told me that if I got nothing else, I had to get the uh, facial treatment essence, and then this kit also came with their toner. So this treatment essence by itself, the full-size bottle of it, is $230. So I was like, Ugh. do I really wanna spend $230 on one product that I don't even know if I'll like, or do I wanna try the trial set and get two, just the smaller version of it, for $100, which is still kind of ridiculous. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot, but I've heard so many really great things about this product, so I wanna give it a try and see. And if I like it, I might spend $230, who knows? Probably not, but we'll see. The next thing I have are these eyeshadow sticks from Tarte. These are called the Smolder, or they're Smolder Eyes Waterproof Eyeliners, but I really like these because the formula of them is really good for uh, smudging the bottom lash line. So I wanted to try some different colors. The first one that I got is olive. So this one is olive. The next one is golden black. Oh my god, golden black. Which, oh my god, that's so <laughs> That's the absolute worst swatch ever, but that is golden black. And then the last one that I got is bronze, which looks like this color right here. I really like these because the formula on them is really creamy and then it also comes with uh, the back smudger side so you can smudge the product. It's perfect for your lower lash line. Next thing I got from Tarte are their new... The next thing that I got from Tarte are their new glossy lip paints and you guys know I love, love, love glossy lips and I tried one of these a little while ago so I wanted to try them in different colors. So I got, of course, nude. I love nude glossy lips. The first one that I got is Goals. This one's called Goals. And it looks like this. It's really pretty. And the formula of this is really soft too. Glosses have come a long way. You guys remember like back in the day when you wore a lip gloss and it was like the stickiest, worst thing your lips have ever experienced? Now I feel like a lot, I found some really good glosses that give you a really high shine on your lips without the sticky disgustingness. And these really have that, they're really nice. The second one that I got is Double Tap. Which looks like this, ooh. That one's really pretty. So this one is Goals and this one is Double Tap. I also just got a new Beauty Blender. I got a nude Beauty Blender and then I wanted to try out these little baby Beauty Blenders. I've not really seen too many people using these, but I feel like they would be good for getting right, right underneath your eye because sometimes this one's too big for that. So, I mean, I don't know. Try it out and see. Next, I got this Eve Saint Laurent lipstick. This is in the shade nine, and I got this because I've never tried um, any products from Eve Saint Laurent, and this color stood out to me. It's really, really pretty, and when I tried it on in Sephora, it was really soft. Just a really sheer kind of pale pink color, which, are my faves. It kind of looks like what I have on right now, honestly. Ooh. It feels really soft. It's a little bit brighter than what I have on right now. And it smells like, what does it smell like? Come over oh, here and smell it. On, Joe's gonna smell it. Tell us what it smells like, Joe. It smells good. Yeah, it smells like a fruit, right? Yeah, I don't know what kind of fruit though. See? <laughs> it kind of smells like I don't know, it smells like like maybe tangerine, maybe? I don't know, I've never smelt a lipstick that smells like this, so I really like this a lot. It smells like Bed Bath & Beyond. So, like some sort of candle. It smells really good though. And it better, because this lipstick was like 40 bucks. 
So next I got an illuminating powder from Bobbi Brown, which I'm really excited about. This looks like this. And this is just good for setting like underneath your eye and setting your concealer, but it comes in a bunch of different colors. I don't know, I'm really excited to try this. So I also picked up this shimmer brick from Bobbi Brown, and I've heard a lot of really fun things about this. It just looks like that. Let's swatch it. Let's run our fingers through it. Ah! Looks like, oh man, that's really pretty. It's so pigmented. I feel like I might just use the bottom shades just because they might fit my skin tone a little bit better. This is really pigmented and nice. So fun. So fun! Right? The most fun you've ever had. Joe's having so much fun, you guys. The last thing I got from Bobbi Brown is just this um, con cor con correcting, oh my god. Whoa, what am I trying to say right now? Intensive Skin Serum Corrector, which looks like this. I got the shade number six, Dark Bisque. And I figured this would just be a good product to highlight with. Looks like this. I don't know, that might be a little bit too light for me. It looks lighter, I feel like, on camera than it is in actual real life, but it's more of like an orange kind of peachy um, color, good for color correcting. We've made it to the end, you guys. The last product that I got was this Moon Dust Palette from Urban Decay. And this is something that I got a lot of Snapchats to get. A lot of you guys wanted to see, um, you guys wanted me to buy this palette, so I got it. And I didn't, I did not swatch this in Sephora, surprisingly, I just grabbed it. So hopefully I like it. Ooh, the packaging on this is really pretty. So this is what it looks like. And then inside you have all of these really nice shimmery shades. It's really pretty. I'm gonna swatch one of them. I'll swatch this blue one. Oh, I made a little exclamation point. <laughs> this is really nice. These are super pigmented. They do kind of feel a little bit chalky, like they might have quite a bit of fallout, but they're really pigmented. This is nice. Let's do another one. Let's do this green one. Oh, this color is really pretty. Both of the colors are really pretty. I can't wait to do some really fun looks with this guy. All right, you guys, that's it. That's all the stuff that I got in my Sephora haul. If you have any specific questions about any of the products that I mentioned, please leave them down in the comments below because I'd be happy to answer any of the questions. Um, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can see upcoming videos where I'm using some of these products on my face. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Was the sound on for that? Oh, Coco Sleepy.